The opening day of any competition is special for everyone. A red letter day for everybody here and those of you who have joined us for our live coverage. I hope everybody is comfortably strapped in for the ride. We're sure that this will be a feast of football, irresistible, emotional, a roller coaster for everyone involved. Nobody in this atmosphere can hide from the truth about how much this game matters. The scene overflows with colour and passion. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Who else but Lionel Messi? I don't need to tell anyone what he's capable of. Some critics don't rate him as the best player on the planet. That's because the Argentinian, for me, is on a different planet. I think you're saying he will be a central feature, no doubt. Paris Saint-Germain have opted for a 4-4-2 formation. Well, the obvious standard in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack. With many shaky defences about, getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply. So playing two strikers can, um, can be a real help to this team. I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's, it's unfair. Any system can work if you've got the right players. We have already seen right there! Oh, just being in a better contact. Well, the manager clearly has to react to this and tactically change what's happening. It's too easy for them to get in.
Saint-Germain make the perfect start. They are already ahead. So just the one that early goal to report so far. 1-0 the score. Goes down, loose pass, and they could be it. And the shot! It's in! A game of thrills, all square in the blinking of an eye. Well, that's so refreshing. They were a goal down, and you never would have guessed it. Their reaction has been emphatic. His position is perfect, the invitation was there for him, and his response, absolutely critical. Well, I think the keeper has every reason to rip into that defence for allowing him to get into such a good position. certainly made things interesting. Well, I think the players would be buoyed by the fact that they've managed to level things in a hurry. Tails most definitely up now. Oh, the shot could be finished. The shot! Into the lead once more. And that is about as good as they come. He picked his spot. Picture in his head, Peter. He didn't even look at the goalkeeper. Paris Saint-Germain go into the lead. Still very early doors, but it is a closely contested affair. He's found a way through. A terrific header. Well, not this time, but a lot of applause for the thoughts. That definitely had the element of surprise to it. Clearly came in when no one was expecting it, and it was drilled. So, to set free a runner, Hernandez crosses. He's seen that early. He was a certain sixth sense. It's half time. So half time, no shortage of action and talking points at both ends of the field. Three goals to light up the crowd and a fair reflection of the territorial state of play with the half time scoreline two goals to one. <laughs> Caution certainly not on the agenda here from both sides. Well, we've had plenty to go out in that first half, Peter, and it's a, a fragile lead that could quite easily change hands in, in the second. Uh, if you like your football unpredictable, I think you're at the right match. Paris Saint-Germain have ultimately had the better of things in the first half. 
ahead by the odd goal in three. It is, of course, far from one. Both managers, it takes a move as they head down the tunnel. It is 2-1 here at half-time. That's a sweet ball there. He is through here. Big hitter. It's it. Well, this is a terrific show of resilience and spirit. I love to see a team roll up their sleeves and force their way back. Superb. Broad smiles all round. It is indeed a fine, fine header. Oh, it's a fantastic assist as well, Peter. Delivered the pace, the diversion. That's all it was needed. So time for change. This one has been on the cards for a little while. Yeah, there's going to be a significant change of approach, I think. They really are shaking up their attack now. Sure. We're not going to make any further progress now. in this game might just take off from here. Oh, he's tripped him right on the cusp of the penalty area. And that is a huge moment in the context of the game. And he's going to have his name taken. A lot of furious gesticulation, but it is never going to make the referee overturn a decision. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of been denied a dear opportunity, but it had to be done. And he scores! Back in business! Not a twitch, not a blink. Well, that looked a simple case of giving the keeper the eyes and just slipping the ball to the other side. That was clever. And with that, the hat-trick is complete. This is frightening football. He has increased defensive fear on the way to that hat-trick. Quite a thriller this one's become. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you just score. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're played back again. Now it's sure. Good spot, he's seen the run. And the shot!
Harry Saint-Germain take the lead. Yeah, it's been their hard work that has done this lead, but I just wonder whether they can keep it up. This may take... He's gone direct here. Giroud charging forward, the ball at his feet. Trump! Just denied by a lick of paint. We're talking centimeters. Well, they shouldn't be dawdling at this stage. They need to get the ball in the mixer and quickly. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Well, that was close. Both sides playing their part in a great game of football. A real ride that had all of us glued to our seats from the very beginning. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Paris Saint-Germain simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became as predictable as predicted. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to 